What's up guys, it's All Day Anthony and welcome back to the RSX vlog that you hopefully know and hopefully continue to love because in today's video, we're installing a Onaka exhaust on my RSX Type S. Let's go. Alright guys, welcome back to another Acura RSX Type S vlog where today we are finally getting back on track with some much needed modifications. After a while there, it was starting to feel like all I was doing was cleaning and fixing things, so it feels good to finally knock out some mods. So today, we're gonna to be installing the Onaka Motorsports catback exhaust system on the RSX Type S. Now, if you've been following my channel for a while, then you'll know that I've been running the Onaka catback on my 1999 Honda Civic for years at this point, and it still looks amazing and sounds amazing, which is absolutely phenomenal considering it's a Honda. I mean, if we're honest here, Hondas aren't known for having the best sounding exhaust systems. Typically, they can be very raspy or they can be very tinny. I mean, inside the car, it can sound pretty good, but outside of the car, it just sounds like a two-stroke weed eater, whereas Yonaka does that differently. They produce a very nice, low, deep tone without the rasp, and that's due to their resonator and their muffler design, and honestly, I think it's still one of the best systems that you can get for a Honda to date. So, if you're currently contemplating getting a Yonaka system, this is me giving you the thumbs up and saying that it's absolutely worth it and you're gonna love it. So, with that said here, we have a box here that we need to unbox because my friend Jimmy is on his way over to help me with the install. So, let's throw on the GoPro and unbox this thing. So as usual, Yonaka absolutely kills it with their quality control. This thing looks absolutely amazing. So we have the muffler here, we have the resonator, we have what I believe the mid pipe, maybe somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but I love the way that these things look. It's a very OEM plus look, and that's what I'm going for. The Civic looks amazing with this system, and the RSX is gonna look amazing as well. We have their stamping here on the bottom that nobody sees except for me, but I think it's a nice detail. And the tip here, again, just a very OEM plus subtle look. It's nothing crazy, but that's what I'm going for, and I think it's gonna look just Again, it's gonna look amazing. So, over here we got the hardware, we have our gaskets, we have our bolts, we have a couple springs. I believe it's a donut fitting there, and I think that's it. I think that this is pretty straightforward. Now, this is a three-piece system versus the OEM system. I believe it's a, just a two-piece coming from the cat to the muffler itself. This, again, muffler, resonator, mid-pipe, questionable, whatever that is. So anyway, Jimmy Wilkie, AKA JW Media, is on his way over to help with the install, just to make sure I don't drop this thing on my head when I'm installing it. And I believe he's bringing some things that are gonna make the install just a little bit easier as well. So we'll see you in a few. The help has arrived. All right, Jimmy's here and he brought the entire store with him. I did. I'm not sponsored by race ramps, but... Uh, kind of kind of looks like yeah. it, dude. So we got four of these race ramps, or these cradles, wheel cradles. Yeah, I think that's what they call them, wheel cradles, and then just normal capacity ramps, and then uh, this special thing. Snap, you get a raise or something? Look at that, know, dude. I got a girlfriend. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, I, I guess, man. Anyway, we're gonna get the car up in the air, and then we're gonna start taking everything apart. Now, one thing to note is I hit everything with PB Blaster yesterday, really soaked it. I just kept hitting it and hitting it, so these bolts should, should, fingers crossed, in theory, break free pretty easily, but I've said that before, and you know, I don't want this to be an all day job. So anyways, let's get this thing up in the air. All right, 
right, so I think we're at a pretty decent spot for room right now. Not the ideal spot, but a decent spot. Uh, basically, these race ramps here are pretty tall, and so trying to fit them underneath the rear wheels here with the way that the suspension was sagging was getting to be pretty hard. So we're trying to find intricate ways to jack up this thing without damaging anything, and eventually we just settled on saying, uh, forget it, let's just go ahead and throw the jack stands as high as we can go on the rear there, keep the front there on those ramps, and call it good, throw the race ramps under there as a, as a safety measure, right? Uh, but overall, we have some pretty decent room. So Jimmy's under there on the uh, crawler, and you can see we've got we've got enough space to party. So what we're gonna do from here, I'm gonna throw on the GoPro. Uh, we're gonna start loosening up the rear muffler section there and drop the hanger. And once that's out, the rest of everything else should come out pretty easily. So we're gonna be working from rear to front, and then when we put the new one in, we're gonna be working front to rear, or at least uh, in theory. So anyways, let's get it done. All right, so let's jump straight into this. We have two 12s, one right here and one right here with the spring retainers on there. And this guy right here wasn't really cutting it, so I jumped to a little bit of a bigger impact driver. I was able to start making some progress. Get on this one right here. Bam. Bam. That is smoking hot. All right, so two bolts off right there. We have the muffler right here. I'm gonna start working on this hanger, which I think it's, bam. What? That was the easiest hanger I've ever taken off. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, 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 Okay. Just a little bit of grease, it'll come off like in two seconds. You think so? Yeah. Where's your grease at? Um, bottom, bottom drawer there, underneath where the husky is. Wrangling it, Jimmy? Kind of. Would it help if I whispered in your ear? Probably. <laughs> Sweet nothings. Sweet nothings. You got this. <laughs> you, got, you got this. You're so strong. Yeah? Sure. Is it coming? Yep. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, I'll go over that. Then. Might need a little bit of finesse. Yeah, I think we. Yep, there you go. You got it. Now just keep going. Keep rolling. <laughs> keep rolling. <laughs> Exhaust hanger is still, still intact. That doesn't usually happen to me during installs. Anyways, all right, so this is off. Uh, I guess next step now is we're gonna be knocking out uh, where the cat is, and I think we should be good to go, and then everything else is just gonna slide out from here. So I know exhaust installs aren't super sexy unless they're on a lift, but you know what? Gra Sorry. Garage stuff, right? You just, gotta, you just gotta do it sometimes. So uh, yeah, let's get those three bolts off. All right, so quick update here. I found that more power is not always the answer. So I use the big impact, hit this guy right here, and I noticed that I already started rounding out a couple of these corners. Wasn't ideal. So, jump to the little guy here. I love this little driver because it just kind of jiggles things, right? So with all this corrosion here, it needed to jiggle a lot of that free. Hit it with that a few times, and bam, that came loose, that came loose, that came loose. So now, the rest of it's just coming off. There we go. All right, so the exhaust is off right here. Jimmy's up front there trying to get the hanger off. Do you want me to go backwards, forwards? Um, just hold it like that. Okay, just gonna see if we get this done in time, Jimmy. We should go hit a lap or two on the, on the sim. I'll, sh I'll just show you what it's all about there on the Nürburgring. Yeah. All right, there we go, baby. That is out. And as now, you can see, we have a beautiful cat back, or non-existent cat back exhaust. All right, so before we jump into the new exhaust, one quick thing I noticed was that um, in the bag of hardware there, there was no replacement nuts for the studs on the cat itself, which is totally fine. They give you enough hardware there, like let's just say if you're running a test pipe or something to be able to put everything back together, uh, but in the case that we were using the studs, those nuts are a different size than the ones that came stock. So we're gonna run down to O'Reilly really quick, go get three more of these bad boys, if that'll focus on my hand maybe, there we go. Three more of these right here, and then everything should be, in theory, pretty cake to sew back up. So we'll be back here in just a few, and we'll get back to this. A few moments later. All right, so we're back from the store here. Picked up some extra nuts, as well as some delicious cut bop. Jimmy, take a bite of that. You know it's gonna be good. With 
Okay, perfect, all right, all right, right on. Got that, a couple things of kimchi here. Get mine at a 7.5 because I like it spicy. And then we got some of these, uh, whatever these are, man, these are delicious in that peach flavor. So we're gonna eat this really quick. Here are the replacement nuts here. They are in uh, M10 by 1.25 to replace these right here. So anyways, we're gonna eat then jump back to this. All right, so I got everything laid out in the order that it's gonna go on the car. So coming from over here, we have where it's gonna to connect to the cat with the three stud gasket. Coming from there, it's gonna to go to the two stud gasket, which is gonna to connect to this right here, going into the resonator pipe. Then from the resonator pipe, we have our little donut. It's gonna go on there. And then we have the springs uh, with the uh, bolts that go from here into this itself right here. So anyway, pretty straightforward. I think we're just gonna start slipping this on, probably going from the cat itself, get that all bolted up, and then start working our way down, and then hopefully everything will zip up as it should. All right, so we're underneath the car here. We're gonna get the gasket over the top, get that fitted onto there, just like that. And then we are going to get our pipe up, start lifting this on to here. Jimmy's helping me out on the back side. Perfect, Put on these new nuts that we picked up. And then I'm just gonna ratchet them down for right now. I'll just kind of get it on there nice and loose, center the gasket, and then I know that I have it perfectly sealed because I've had to do this a couple times on other cars where the gasket was not centered and moisture and condensation got through and created a hole there. All right, resonator, time for that to go in. We're gonna get that um, hooked up to the hanger first. And once it's hooked up to the hanger, we'll be able to mate it with this right here. So, <laughs> Jimmy, it's so funny oh, watching you come through there like that. <laughs> Don't worry about that. That's just the uh, the good old heat shield. Are those are those bolts in. Hey, that's yeah, yeah. Do we want to take it out? So no, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. We need a little bit of that Honda jankiness in this. It's actually money with that jack with that jack stand right there, yeah. dude. Perfect. Holy crap! Let's that's get another. That's one. absolutely money. Get another one for this, and we'll hold it up. Yeah, that's like literally perfect. I'm supposed to go get some shots later. It's like an apocalyptic storm happening right now. Well, hopefully it passes by, right? Well, yeah, hopefully. All right, we're gonna get this gasket fitted here. So throw this in right between. This is literally perfect. Damn it! Second hole in, dude. So you want it this way? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Bring it down. Nice pipe, Jimmy. Thank you. All right, let's. Uh... The told me the same. <laughs> <laughs> they did. They did tell you the same thing. Uh, okay. So that's gonna slip. You gotta jimmy it through there, Jimmy. <laughs> and. Here we go. Here we go, people. Um, I gotta get this donut on here. So we're gonna push this forward. Just like that. No way, dude. Shout out to Yonaka for making life easy. I know. It you said that was a dumpster. It wasn't a dumpster sound, that's a storm. That's a storm. Dude, that's Jimmy. It sounds like the fucking apocalypse out there. All right, so quick update here. Got everything tightened down for the last time. So again, did everything loose or semi-loose, semi-medium, whatever you want to call it. And then once I got everything mocked up and everything centered how I wanted it to, I was able to go back through and then tighten everything down. But that fitment there, guys, money perfectly centered. I did pick up some extra hangers just off of Amazon that I used on the Civic actually that I felt like I had more adjustment out of so I'll link those down below in the description if you're interested in picking those up uh, but they made things much much easier and they slip onto the exhaust and onto the hangers much easier as well so at this point in time guys I'm gonna wipe down the exhaust get rid of all my fingerprints just so they don't burn on there anyways let's get this thing leveled out start it up and go from there all right moment of truth here everything's been tightened down wiped down the exhaust and uh, I think we're ready to start this thing up. Sounds out of gear to me, Jimmy. Here we go. Ooh. Dude, that sounds pretty deep, man.
Got a little bit of something right here. Nothing up there. So yeah, just right there on that resonator to muffler. All right guys, so I had a small exhaust leak from the mid pipe to the resonator pipe, but I think I got it fixed. It was just the slightest little puff of air that was coming out, uh, but I think all is well now. So the car is back on the ground, letting it warm up. We went inside and played a little Assetto Corsa for a bit. So I'm gonna let it warm up, give you guys a couple revs, and then we're gonna go find, hopefully, a quiet back road somewhere, and then give you guys a little pull just so you can hear what it sounds like, and then I'll bring the GoPro along so you guys can hear what it sounds like in the car. But for the most part, compared to the stock exhaust, this is maybe, 20-30% louder. It's nothing crazy. It's super subtle, but this is exactly why I love the Yonaka systems because, again, they're not raspy. They're just deep and throaty, and again, you get more of that engine sound than you do that exhaust sound, which is perfect because on the K-Series, the point is to hear the crossover. Everybody wants to hear that beautiful engine sound and not a raspy exhaust that overshadows that. So anyways, it's time to give you guys some revs. So we're in the car now and so far this thing sounds absolutely amazing. I'm getting a little bit of that smoky, burny smell that you get with a new exhaust, but outside of that, the sound is just perfect. It's exactly what I was looking for, a very OEM Plus look, sound, and all that jazz. The best way to describe the sound in the car is that it just has a nice, deep, low sound. There's no raspiness, no tinniness, nothing like that. It's just nice and deep, uh, kind of like an accentuated stock exhaust, I mean, if I'm honest with you. So if the stock exhaust was at like a 20% loudness, maybe this is now at like a 30, 35% loudness. Uh, it's nothing crazy, but it's exactly what I was looking for. I still hear that crossover, it's very prominent, and it's not being blasted out by the back end of the car. So um, yeah, it's just nice and low. Now hopefully we can find a, a quiet side road here so we can do a couple more in-car pulls so you can guys get a better idea of what the sound is. But uh, yeah, honestly guys, downshift. That is perfect, dude. That is so perfect. God, the D-cell. It, it, it's got a good D-cell sound to it. I love that. All right, here we go. A little in-car pull. This looks good enough. I thought I was going to catch air there for a second. Second gear. Dude, 
road. I love it. I love it. All right, guys, so we are back home after a quick drive, and I am so pumped with how this thing looks and how this thing sounds. It's exactly what I was hoping for, and yeah, I'm pumped, man. It's awesome. So anyways, huge shout out to Jimmy for coming and hanging out for like five hours. It's so funny, right? Every time I'm like, yeah, come over, hang out. This install should only take an hour or something like that, maybe two. It always ends up being much longer than that, but you know what? We had a good time. This old thing is out of here, but honestly, it's in pretty good shape. So I might keep this around. I don't know where the heck I'm gonna put it. It's freaking massive, but it's in good shape for what it is. So I don't know. I may keep it, may hoard it. I have no idea yet, but I'm so pumped with the Onaki exhaust. I just, yeah, I can't wait to drive it some more. I'll give you guys a longer term review and maybe an upcoming video and kind of give you my thoughts after I've been driving around for a while. But I mean, for first impressions, this thing's, this thing's awesome. I'm super, super pumped on it. And as far as the install, this thing went really, really smoothly, surprisingly, which never happens to me on exhaust installs. It's always something, right? It's always something that goes wrong. Uh, but no, for this one, the biggest thing was just getting off these bolts that connected to the cat. But I think the biggest takeaway there is to soak everything in PB Blaster. So uh, yeah, soak those nuts, everybody. Give them a nice long soak and enjoy it, right? Give them a nice nut bath in that PB Blaster and life will be much, much easier. So anyways, guys, I don't know what else to say other than I am so stoked for this. We are, again, another step closer to a cleaner RSX. It's getting there slowly but surely and more mods are definitely on the way. So I'm really excited about that. So anyways, shout out to Jimmy for coming and hanging out and all of you for watching. So please, if you enjoy these types of videos and you love the Acura RSX, please make sure to give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Saul Anthony. Peace.